This is Twit. Who else would might be doing this eBay like uh, threat metrics port scanning that we talked about last week? Um, Lawrence Abrams over at Bleeping Computer was wondering, as he frequently does, and decided to find out uh, to determine which other sites might be using the same scanning script. Bleeping Computer reached out to a company called Domain Tools. That's a cybersecurity company specializing in web domain and DNS threat intelligence. So they're the right kind of profile. It turned out that when websites load Threat Metrics's anti-fraud script. They load the script from a customer named online hyphen threatmetrics.net host name. Okay, so for example, eBay loads the threat metrics script from a domain source.ebay hyphen us.com, meaning that the threat metrics script appears to be coming from eBay, but a query to that source.ebay-us.com domain returns a C name record. That's a C name for canonical, uh, and it's also known as an alias. In other words, it's the, the source.ebay-us.com domain is an alias for another domain, in this case, that redirects DNS lookup to h-ebay.online-metrics.net. That is over to the actual th threat metrics domain. So as a consequence of that, that's all visible. So Domain Tools was able to provide Bleeping Computer with a list of 387 unique online-metrics.net references that share a similar naming scheme. And Leo, I've got a link uh, down toward the end of this page to a Google uh, spreadsheet list of these names. It's rather daunting when you actually see it. Uh, uh, so then, using this list, Bleeping Computer visited the sites for many of the larger prominent companies to verify whether they were in fact performing a local client side, that is browser hosted port scan into their visitor's computer when someone just visited. Bleeping Computer wrote that they did indeed detect port scanning when visiting Citibank, TD Bank, Ameriprise, chick a filet Lend up, Beachbody, Equifax IQ Connect, TII, TIAA Cref, Sky, Gumtree, and WePay. Lawrence noted that the specific scanning behavior tended to vary from site to site. Citibank, Ameriprise, TIAA Cref immediately port scanned their visitors when entering the main page of the site. TD Bank, Chick-A-Fil-A, LendUp, Equifax, IQ Connect, Sky, Gumtree, and WePay only port scanned when visitors attempted to log in. And Beachbody.com only port scanned when checking out. Uh, this detection success suggests that many of the other well-known sites on the list are also using threat metrics and likely scan their visitors at other sensitive times. Uh, there are other major names uh, Netflix, Target, Walmart, ESPN, Lloyd Bank, HSN, Telecharge, Ticketmaster, TripAdvisor, PaySafeCard, and possibly even Microsoft. For those sites, Bleeping Computer was unable to trigger a scan, but it seems likely that the scans may be present on site pages that weren't visited during their testing. Lawrence posted a Google Sheet uh, as I, as you had up there on the screen a second ago, I got a link in the show notes for anyone who, who's interested. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's extensive. Um, so he concluded his report by noting that these port scans can be blocked using uBlock Origin in Firefox. Unfortunately, uBlock was unable to block the port scans in the new Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome because extensions can no longer have adequate permissions to uncloak the DNS CNAME records. 
you know, and we talked about this at the time. This is something that the that the Chromium browsers did in the name of security, limiting the abuse of extensions. On the other hand, sometimes you want to trust an extension uh, to be able to do good things. And this lack of access is something that uBlock Origins quite curmudgeonly author Gorehill mentioned a while back. He was not happy that he was no longer able to do as much as he wanted to. But uh, uh, Bleeping Computer also tested the Brave browser, and the port scans were allowed through. So Firefox plus uBlock is the only effective blocker Yay. of these uh, local. Yeah, I know. That That's what I use. To be. Uh, yeah, uh, where I am. And in fact, yeah. something funny happened last night that I w we will be getting to in a minute. Uh, there, it is conceivable a, these are legitimate scans. I mean, this is, as we had talked about last week, uh, a threat scan, right? Yeah. Um, apparently, based on Lawrence's feedback from his article last week, many users, you know, I don't again, want it's a skewed it. I understand. demographic. Right. It's like, I don't want you, my browser, scanning my own computer. Right. Your hands off. But that's that's you have done. to trust the uh, source. You know, I see yep. American Express is on here, for instance. It's a financial institution. I think they're probably doing it for uh, a good reason, right? Yeah. And um, but you have to trust them, like that they're not going to yeah. look at what else I got going on. You know, that kind of thing.